Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, we're going to talk about the top three fastest rides at Universal Studios Hollywood. Universal Studios Hollywood is a unique park with a variety of attractions on two stories. Yes, the park has two stories. And because it's on a hill, it doesn't have very many fast attractions. So that's why I chose a top three because a lot of the attractions are dark rides or simulators. And there's not anything that really goes like 25 miles or like above 28 miles per hour. It like very few things actually have an actual speed. So there's actually really only three attractions here to choose from. So that. We're going to start with number three, which is Flight of the Hippogriff. Flight of the Hippogriff is in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Hogsmeade here at Universal Hollywood. And it is not the main attraction, the main attraction is Forbidden Journey, but that also is, again, a slow ride. This ride is a roller coaster, a chil children's roller coaster. It goes 29 miles per hour. It's 30 seconds long, so I wish it would be a little, a little faster, but it's 30 seconds long. But it does pack a punch with some nice airtime for its short ride. Runtime. Moving down to number two, which is on the lower lot, is a significantly faster attraction, and that is Revenge of the Mummy. Revenge of the Mummy is a roller coaster manufactured by Premier Rides, and it is an indoor roller coaster. It has a dark ride segment, but also an indoor launch and an indoor coaster segment, all in the dark with some neon and lights, and even some ticklers down below to simulate bugs tickling you as you transition from forward to back. Yes, this ride goes both forwards and backwards. And it goes a top speed of 45 miles per hour, which is a big jump up from the 29 miles per hour Flight of the Hippogriff. And so Flight of the Hippogriff is the kids coaster, and Revenge of the Mummy is the family coaster, I'd say. I'd say it's family coaster, family intense thrill, not really thrill coaster, but family coaster. That really is, or both for everyone, but this one's much more for everyone. Mummy is much longer than Flight of the Hippogriff, but it's still short, in my opinion, because about... Half of the ride is taken up with the dark ride segments, which are fantastic, but the coaster portion could be a bit longer. And it was originally going to go outside before it got budget cut when it opened back in 2004. This also has an on ride photo section right at the launch. And it's a pretty good launch. I really like this. It's pretty intense, this launch. It's a quick launch, and you can really feel it, especially if you're in the back of the coaster, which is awesome. And that kind of makes up for its short runtime. But I love it. Um, it goes at very nice speed and it even has some bunny hops and hills in the relatively, you know, short show building. It doesn't, it's not tall or anything. It's mostly, mostly rides on speed, but it definitely goes up and down quite a few hills in that show building. This is one of my favorite attractions in the park. So if you do visit the park, I highly suggest you ride Revenge of the Mummy. It also has Single Rider and all these rides have Express Pass as well. And lastly, the fastest ride. And Universal Studios Hollywood for now, and I say for now, I'll get to that in a bit, but is Jurassic World at 50 miles per hour. Jurassic World, of course, is a boat ride, so it doesn't go 50 miles per hour the entire time, but it does go 50 miles per hour on the drop, and even though the drop's only a few seconds long, it does count as the fastest ride in the park. If you want more speed, or a high speed, of a longer length, that again will be for Revenge of the Mummy. But that still only goes 45 miles per hour. So Jurassic World is 50 miles per hour. And is a fantastic attraction. Even though it's a slow boat ride for most of the time. Jurassic World features in uh, several animatronic dinosaurs. Very impressive screen technology. And you know can meet Blue, the Indominus Rex. Uh, see Claire and Chris P Pratt along the attraction. You can see a gyrosphere and many small dinosaurs as well. And even getting some surprises. With um, some, some wet surprises. And along the course of the track so very iconic and very great boat ride definitely check out Jurassic World it is also one of my favorites in the park and there you have it that is a list of fast rides and relatively fast rides at Universal Studios Hollywood but again just because not everything is fast at Universal doesn't mean that not everything is good Universal has some fantastic attractions like the newly opened Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge Tickle Ever Pets Off the Leash and of course the iconic Studio Tour which uh, subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing a fascinating history of that entire attraction, which basically led to the entire theme park coming soon on the channel. So subscribe for that awesome history video. But yeah, 
Universal and Harry Potter's Forbidden Journey also is a fantastic attraction, even though that's not fast, but it's quite intense. And in fact, Forbidden Journey arguably is more intense than uh, most, or if not all, of these attractions on the list. There, the, uh, those are the three attractions. Which ones are your favorite attractions? Have you ever been to Universal Studios Hollywood? If so, um, but, um, are you excited for these attractions? Are you anxious for these attractions? Let me know in the comments below. Again, my favorite out of the three, I think, is The Mummy. But uh, Jurassic World is amazing as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and awesome videos like this. And again, that's due to our history video at Universal. As always, have a very universal day.